Who wants to go on an adventure? I do. I certainly do, after having struggled through shuffle mode for the entirety of my life. Welcome back to Super Amazing Wagon Adventure, everybody. My name is Bear. It's, uh... It's no longer a day in which I'd like to subject myself to torment and agony. Instead, we're gonna try to complete the game on a few more of these here wagons. We've already done what unlocked now. So, what do we have left to do? We've got the fancy, the survivalist, uh, the random and the meta, of course, the ones that we're looking to unlock. The fantasy and the fast are still there. And, uh, you know, the coal-fired actually seems like a... seems like a decent enough idea. I was able to utilize this gun to what I thought was an effective degree until I realized that it was just getting me killed at the tail end of our previous run. And, uh, this is not gonna do me any favors, I don't know why I picked this up. I swear to God, this game always gives me, like, 40 health boxes right at the start, just to say, ha ha ha, you stupid idiot. Way to go. Way to go, not getting hurt at the, at the, uh, start off of the, of the run. Like, why? Why do I need health this early? It's just silly. Just silly is all it is. I'm gonna try to hit this guy from the bottom. There we go. That was a great shot, actually. Managed to, uh... Managed to take him off the horse without damaging the horse from underneath. That's quite incredible. Boop. Boop. There we are. Gotta get that diff. Get that good old horse meat, because I managed to give myself a, uh... A really crappy gun right before... Oh, God. Right before I was supposed to be hunting! That is not a good plan. Definitely not a good plan. Holy crap. Yeah, this is when I needed those two health kits for sure. God damn it. I am not doing smart moves. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, this is uh, clearly not the greatest way to handle this guy, but I think I may uh, have a solution now. Oh my god, that was really close. Okay. Let's just shoot through him. There we are. <laughs> That's good as well. All right. Wild play after wagon to look for wild berries. We got ourselves a bow and arrow as well. Bears wanted the berries. They tend to. You know, my uh, older brother convinced me when I was very young that animals were attracted to the uh, the humans who shared the name of the animal in their last name. So, for example, I grew up terrified of bees because of my last name. I'll let you solve that mystery on your own, but my brother was a, was a terror to me. Really, it's just <laughs> just the the, uh, the lesson I'm trying to teach you right now. Boulders in the river. All right, we can take care of this. There we go. Lots of boulders in the river. Hmm. Oh, the. Oh God, this wagon is massive. That's what I am realizing now. That's the problem. There was a pirate ship. Okay, we can handle that. We can handle that. No problem. As long as. Oh, good. Hey, the uh, bow and arrow actually did a really good job of dealing with that shit. Wonderful. Great planes time. All right, let's see if I can avoid having Bear die in the onset of this mission. Wife got black fever. Oh goodness. That's not good. What can we do about that? Came across a large herd of buffalo. Okay, so... We do have a decent enough weapon to try to deal with this problem. Hopefully we can, uh... Scurry on through. Oh god, I put myself in a terrible position now. Yep, bear was gored by a bison and died. Well, this sucks. This truly sucks. This wagon is kinda shitty, man. I'll be honest. You need a... You need a much better weapon. Early on. To make this thing work. Good god. Yeah. It is, it is huge and not fun to drive. Just like any car ever. Unless you're a very, very small person. No one wants to drive a smart car. Charles was trampled to death by a buffalo. Wow, well, at least wife recovered and may be able to make through... Make it through the entire voyage by herself. That'd be nice. Oh, it's too bad I don't have enough furs for anything. Damn shame, that. Faster wagon wheels probably wouldn't have even helped us out that much. A smaller train may do the trick. Ooh, Falcon, bro. Hold up a tick. Coyotes wanted to eat the injured Falcon. No thanks. Oh, goodness. Wow, that was close. All right. This'll do. This'll do. This is much more effective. Hopefully, we can take Falcon, bro, with us through the remainder of this run, because that would mean I'd never have to take the coal train again, and uh, I would be in a much better position in the future. Oh, God. Yep, there we go. Okay. Getting all them hides, getting all them hides. After recovering from its injuries, the Falcon was a useful hunting partner. Yes, indeed. Oh, God, this is going to be so much better than that shitty, shitty smoke gun. Whatever the hell you want to call that thing. Terrible is what it is, really. Very good. Oh, Falcon bro, how I've missed you, friend. Wife decided to carry the Falcon with her. A very wise choice. 
A very strange smell coming from a nearby camp. She decided to investigate. Oh, wow. Wife felt sick. Yeah, it certainly looks like the people around here are not feeling too hot. No oh boy. Wife saw an entire pistol sitting near the camp. She picked it up on her way back to the wagon. Oh, an antique pistol. <laughs> an entire pistol! Not just pieces of one. Noises coming from the tall grass. Oh, goodness. It was a diseased monkey. Yay! Oh, goody. Let's, let's not have this problem right now. I'd like to just avoid disease for a little while. Tommy Gun's not terrible. I guess we can deal with this. There we go. Hopefully the, uh, the Falcon Bro wasn't actually, like, carrying disease with him. That would have been really shitty. Alright, pay very close attention. I do not want to leave or uh, lose right here. There we go. Alright, tell me wife is going to heal up, please. Oh, God. Alright, well, the Tommy Gun, again, is not really very helpful when I have the Falcon Bro available. It is giving me a lot of health, though, so that's good. Alright, let's use Falcon Bro to the fullest extent of the law, goddammit! Wow, okay, this is gonna be quick. Oh, okay, well, at least they just kinda run past. Maybe we should just try to, huh, stay away. Stay away from the disease monkeys. Wife developed immunity to the disease. She felt better and didn't have to worry about future outbreaks. Oh, God, you gotta love rapid evolution. Thank you very much. Wife decided to test out the antique pistol on a buffalo herd. Ooh, it's a disease pistol gun. Interesting. And I am immune to the disease. I think we've experienced this before, haven't we? It's certainly doing the job. Wow. Yeah. Okay, maybe this is better than Falcon Bro. Wife decided to keep using the antique pistol. Okay. Damn. That might be one of the best weapons we can find, honestly. Wife is being given a second shot at this. Let's go, uh... Let's go underwater. I think that's by far the best option here. Considering the weapon that we have available to us. Alright, take a deep old breath. Deadly piranhas time. No problem. Holy crap, man. That is so awesome. Oh, goodness. I mean, Falcon Bro's all well and good, but this disease pistol, I mean, my god. This is not even fair. This is not even fair right now. We don't even need health. Don't even need it. I'll pick it up, but... Holy cow. Angry narwhals. Alright, we can deal with this. It's going to be about smart navigation here. I can kill everything. I might even be able to kill the narwhals with a shot if I can land one. No, that's not a good idea. All right, let's just go ahead and avoid them. Kill all the other piranhas. Well, they will die if they hit the disease, so that works out for me. Don't even need the jet bomb. No, thank you. Okay. The pistol itself doesn't deal much damage, but it's that overtime effect that we're really looking to uh, take advantage of. There we go. All right. Good stuff. Good freaking stuff. This is beautiful. Look at all them hides we're getting. Ah, oh, yes, sir. I am happy with this. We just got to create a massive field of disease that the narwhals will hopefully not be able to penetrate. A giant squid was blocking wife's path. All right, well, I don't think we're going to be able to uh, deal poison over time damage to the giant squid, so hopefully I'm just able to uh, employ this strategy to great effect. Actually, this is working quite well. I am quite happy with this. Here we go. We are making headway. Oh, hang on. We got to... Stay down here for a tick. There we go. Good. All right. Very nice. Very, very nice. Wife noticed the treasure chest in the water. I'm going to let that be. I have no interest in acquiring a different weapon here. Do not open that. No, absolutely not. Zero percent chance. Please click the bottom one. Do not. She decided it was too scary to open. Wife continued on. It's too scary. Too scary to open. Mountain pass time. All right. Need to kill at least 40 animals before nightfall in order to survive. We can do that. We can totally do that. Unfortunately, the, uh, the disease is not helpful, or nearly as helpful in the in the current state we're in. We're gonna have to actually be accurate here. We want to make this happen. So let's do it. Let's hope for the best. The wolves are hungry too. All right, this is not gonna be a problem. I'm just gonna focus on the wolves, so I don't uh, so I don't die. Oh god, yep. Well, there's a hit. Shit. Yeah, I need to really focus on killing the wolves here. Good. Alright, we have the 40 that we need, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. Let's just focus on not getting killed. Nightfall came. Wow, that was close, actually. Holy crap. The day's hunt was successful enough that wife forestalled starvation. What do you have for me? I've got plenty of furs. Supplies for animal hides. I don't really need anything. I'll take that. And, uh, hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that. I'll, I'll give you... I'll give you hides for some, for some shotgun blasts. That'll hopefully make the wolf problem a little easier to deal with. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that would not happen, but we're good. 
We're fine. Oh my goodness, the side of the trail wife saw a dark figure. All right, please be a helpful person. Oh god, wow, yeah, that's not what I was hoping for at all. Bigfoot was mad. Sure was. Holy crap, dude. Okay, okay. Ooh, a missile launcher might help against Bigfoot. Wife ran back to the wagon and wife left in a hurry. She tracked, accidentally drove off a cliff. Okay. What do we got? I heard a buffalo fell off the cliff behind wife. Okay, that's not a problem. We can, uh... Oh, god damn it. Oh, no. Wife, please. Wife, please. We need to survive this. This is not a good situation for the big-ass coal train. We have every single advantage we could ask for. God damn it. Ah. Oh. This stupid ass train is so difficult to navigate with. Holy cow. All right. Well, that was that was close. That was close. Let's give it one more go. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be like the shuffle mode of This is like the Skype of adventure runs. The freaking stupid ass coal-fired train takes about a year to arrive. Oh, I definitely need to replace this bitch ass gun pretty soon. Okay. See if I can get some more, uh, some more livestock, some more animal furs for the first trade. Hopefully do a little better this time. Again, with the, with the freaking health on the first stage. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, there we go. That's a little better. A lot of squirrels. Oh, hello. That'll do. That'll do just fine. Yeah, I'm happy with this. <laughs> oh my god, it's a freaking massacre. Holy shit. There we are. Positive bandits interrupted the hunt. Alright, that's fine. We got it. We got Oh, jeez, that was not expected. Um, you know what I should do, actually? Just go like this. Cause I'm- Oh, damn it, I did not want to get that, but I'm pretty sure if I did that, I could just sit underneath and, uh, kill all of them without any kind of cause for alarm. Some of the bandits can actually aim. That's a problem. We can't even let them get up to me. There we go. Just spray and pray. Good stuff. Oh, god, that was, uh, that was a silly bit of damage there. Wow! Wife left the wagon to look for wild berries. All right, that was not so bad. That was not so bad at all. I don't know if I want this gun still. I guess in the cave it could probably help us out a little bit. See what we find here. See what we find. Give me, uh, give me supplies. Give me some health. Filled with giant bats. All right, that's not exactly what I was hoping for. Good, good, good. There we go. And uh, I could wait around for some supplies here, but meh. Wife ran back to the wagon and had a good meal of squirrel kebab. Oh, good. We did kill a lot of them. I guess that makes sense. Reach the river crossing. Okay, first... First intermediary obstacle. I will jump it this time. We forded it last time. Gotta switch it up. Gotta switch up the pace. Left from the top of a ledge. Did not make it into low earth orbit, but we did uh, make it halfway across. Middle of some rapids, let's try to move, there we go, alright, now, the train is gonna be difficult to take through these things, so let's just be- Oh, god damn it, it's so huge! Ugh, come on, something, something, boulders. You can barely even fit over on this side, holy crap. Very careful, very careful, there we go, that's what we're looking for, alright. Excellent. Thank you for not throwing another boulder my way, that would've been pretty shitty. Okay, buffalo? Charles became ill with measles. Bleh. Bleh. I'm Charles. I'm a, a vampire with measles. It's disgusting. If I bite you, you'll get sick. Bleh. Sorry. Sorry about that. Whole, that whole experience is really unsatisfactory. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Well, this is actually kind of working pretty well. If I stay on the bottom, I'm able to hit the ones that are coming up toward me. So, Oh, yeah. This is entirely boring. Thank you, game. Yes, we definitely want to speed this up. Shit. Okay. Well, that was uh, better than I expected it to go. Charles was crushed by a bison. Well, that's what you get for getting measles, you dumb idiot. God damn it. Well, this is okay. This is still fine. Just survive. We don't need Charles anyway. We're gonna be fine. Angry buffalo charge the wagon. All right then. No problem. We'll just continue spamming shots. It does actually kind of collect if you do it properly, so that's good. But properly, I mean hope for the best as you just continue clicking the, your mouse and moving around willy nilly. Bird Trader, I've got plenty. What you got? Smaller wagon? Hopefully. Supplies. Well, alright. It's not terrible. Let's take a bunch of these bullets. That sounds like fun. Okay. That's good. Pass through a Civil War battle. Not a problem. I got a decent weapon for this. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna play it safe and try to just kill as many of these people as I possibly can. <laughs> ah, phrasing. 
That is questionable. Alright, do not want that. We just spent a bunch of hides on a bunch of bullets, so we're gonna try to capitalize on that decision. Capitalize. Ooh, hey! Free health that I didn't need, apparently. Uh, let's keep going this way. I'm gonna stay as close to this side as I can, just so I don't get surprise shot in the face. Boom. There we go. It's going pretty well. Do not want that. Oh god, that was bad. That was real bad. Shit. Shit. Yeah, we're good. The wagon's interference in the battle decimated both Union and Confederate forces. The war was lengthened and there was great loss of life in the reenactment. Front wheels of the wagon fell off and the wagon was stuck. Here we go. It's got a lot of wheels. We can probably make it forward, but whatever. Bear left the wagon to fetch the wheels. The first wheel rolled into a herd of buffalo. It's easy enough to deal with. There we go. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. Just gonna pick up as many hides as I can here real fast, actually, because that seems like a decent enough idea. Do not pick up that weapon, though. There we go, and got it. Second wheel rolled into a camp filled with bandits. Alright, no problem. No problem at all. Got it. Oh, we gotta kill this guy, too, I guess. Alright. Bear returned to the wagon and put the wheels back in place. Got it. They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Hmm. I want one more health block. I think I'm gonna go for the, uh... For the swimming experience this time again. Pretty sure that's just objectively easier than the desert. That's why it forces you to go that way sometimes. <laughs> Alright, deadly piranhas. No big deal. No big deal. There we go. Collect them all together. I do not want that. Do not want that. Go away. Go away. There we go. Alright, very nice. That'll work. Still getting a bunch of hides, so this is good. This is very good. Still have plenty of ammo for this gun as well. Alright, angry narwhals. We can deal. I know how to deal. I, w I worked as a baccarat dealer the early part of my life. When I was but a, but a child. They told me a child would never make it as a baccarat dealer, and look how I proved them wrong. God damn it, I lost my gun. The oxen got freaked out and swam too fast. Oh shit, okay, well. It's not so terrible, I suppose. As long as I keep spamming my gun. Not so bad. Just gotta keep moving. He's really not swimming that fast, although if I swim this fast, I'm pretty sure I can, uh, avoid the piranhas if I really need to. Let's hope for the best, though. Oh god, yeah, alright, that's gonna be the, uh, oh god damn it, it's such a huge freaking train! Unreal! Bear needs some health. Wife noticed some supplies sitting in the beach. She, she left the wagon to investigate. Oh, sure, yeah, give wife the health. Thank you. Supplies were guarded by a flock of angry pelicans. Alright, we can deal. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Holy shit. That was ridiculous. Pelicans are annoying. <laughs> Agreed. Swim to the shore of the river. Beautiful. Alright, we have a shotgun. A decent amount of sh shots in the shotgun. And they decided to hunt. I don't really need this, but it is a nice little break, I guess. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and save this ammunition because they have the, uh, they got the wolves coming and we'd like to not have to deal with those. Well, we might get a few more, because we could find some, uh, uh, fur trader dealing supplies of health and whatnot. Okay, didn't do that. There we go. I'm still just gonna be looking to shoot him right in the face anyway, so... Not that big of a change, I guess. Uh, there's the health I'm looking for! Oh, it tried to deceive me. It tried to dupe me! God! Dang it! Alright, well, wife is actually in, uh, worse condition now, oddly enough. Let's go ahead and keep spamming this. God damn it. Alright, please give me some supplies, buddy. I'm begging you. That's what I'm hoping for, please. Yes! Thank you, kind stranger. That is good enough for me. That'll help. The night they drank to stay warm. Seems like a smart plan, especially out of giant brown flasks. Inebriated, Bear left the wagon to relieve himself, as I tend to do. Swarm of rabbit squirrels. Well, we don't have the best weapon for that, but... Hopefully we can still make it work. Ooh, this'll do. That'll do just fine. Bear managed to stumble back into camp. Oh god. Oh, it's the wrong camp. It's the wrong camp, buddy. That's not how you do it. Okay, we're good, though. We got it. Bear ran away drunkling with bandits chasing behind him. He made it back to the wagon and they left in a hurry. However, they were all drunk. Very, very drunk. The bandits attacked the wagon. Oh, goody. Okay. We've had to deal with this many a time before. Let's just be wise. We'll get, we'll get out of this okay. Oh, God. All right. Wait for it. Boom. And up we go. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, God. There we are. If we sit down here, actually, this will work out. After a long night of vomiting, they felt awful and accidentally drove off a cliff. Please do not rain buffalo on me. 
The wagon passed through a fly. Okay, we know how to deal with this one now. <laughs> nice and easy. Oh man, I remember when this was a terrifying experience, but we're good now. Just up and down, up and down. We got it. We got it in the bag, in the freaking proverbial bag, man. We're good. All right. Sweet. Luckily, the wagon landed in a river. The wagon now a raft was carried down river by the currents. Train raft ho ho. Train raft ho. Superman a raft ho. That doesn't seem desirable at all. I don't know why I recommended that to you. I'm sorry. I am truly sorry. Do we need to get help? I think we're good. I think we're, we're good. We're gonna make it. Still have the shitty default gun, but I like I like my chances here. That was convenient. For some reason, there were a bunch of sharks in the river. That doesn't seem right at all. Somebody should call them the National Geo. Oh shit, that did not go well. Alright, well, Bear's in decent enough condition, but Wife is struggling right now. Just keep on spamming this shot. Oh man, the Great White. Wrecking my life! Holy crap! Oh, wife drowned to death. Oh, god damn it. This is not a good final encounter. Alright, bandits on a raft. With sharks and rocks. I'm hoping for the best, man. I'm hoping to get some guns here. Get some guns going. Keep on spamming these thoughts. Or these shots. <laughs> these thoughts. Hey, there's the health I needed a long, long time ago. Good. Oh, god damn it. Perfectly timed. Perfectly timed stuff here. There we go. Oh, wow. That was effective. Good. Good stuff. Excellent. Two more shots of this. Oh, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me, buddy. There we go. The bandits had stolen some kind of riverboat. Okay, so I know what not to do for this one now. I still suck, though. Oh, damn it! All the hell! No! <laughs> Come on! That stupid wagon is so difficult to pilot. Oh, fuck that! Oh. Thanks for watching this episode of Super Amazing Wagon Adventure! Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks for the support. My name's Barrel. See you next time.